Hey, we're back to Oklahoma. This is Nancy Drew, number 22. Oh, wow, that rhymes. Nancy Drew, number 22. I'm your Gibbs, and we're ready to be... And not really begin, but I guess continue our adventures. I do like that green bar of soap. It makes me think of Irish Springs for some reason. Uh, back onto the game here. My mind's a little scattered all over the place right now, but that's okay. That's relatively normal. Uh, kind of curious how I actually attach my phone. To download photo, attach camera, access gallery on computer, then open the camera to choose the image you wish to download. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're here, and uh, we did the trivia contest in the last episode. So we're ready to see what else is going on here. We are undercover as an intern. Mice! I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. <laughs> yeah, oops. Aw, we've got fans. Cool. What else do we have in here? Toilet paper, plastic sheeting. Is that all that we really needed? Was the fan pick here? Or whatever. Looks like it's on a box or something. Non-toxic filter mask. Yeah, that's not uh, unnerving at all. Surface charts. Whoa. What is all this about? Oh, did you hear that music? Change? Okay, so I don't know what we need those for just yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Oh, somebody's here. I can hear them. Nancy, is that you? Yes, that's me. Scott wants to meet you. Be right there. Nancy Drew, you made it. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. Gee, thanks. Did you see the tornado? What tornado? Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. Wait a minute. Did you see a tornado? Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse. It wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never gonna win this thing. The school's gonna pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's gonna be all she wrote. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. Why does he seem You'll so be reporting creepy? to Debbie, but make no mistake. I call the shots around here. In fact, two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Mon Paws and get it there. Okay, so what goes into one of these things? What goes into a disaster kit? Look. You're here because that rich uncle of yours said you could do the job, so be a little resourceful and just do it, okay? If you need a nanny, have your uncle send one. We don't have the budget. Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. Wow, this guy's just a charmer. And a little creepy. I don't know. What'd you forget? What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. Okay. Guess I'll get going. Whatever. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have going on over here. Gone with the wind, a town says goodbye to Ma. Okay. The large memorial has happened, has appeared outside Ma Pa's general store. Hmm. So that's. Interesting, so I guess Ma and Pa is really only just Pa. Oh, this is interesting. Historic F5s. Wow. Oh, see? Hey! I just realized. I was right. In the first video, I was like, okay, so I'm Canadian, but isn't Oklahoma? And I was going on to explain the shape. 
Okay, so I didn't get the bottom part of this correct. I, what I had said was it was a rectangle with a thin piece at the top. And I was right. And I don't know what river this is, but let's, I'm sure there's a river along the bottom there. And, uh, yeah, cool. So now I want to go here. I want to visit Oklahoma. Because why not? I'd like to go there in the fall, actually. Oh, wait, that's probably tornado season, isn't it? This guy's, like, all busy, isn't he? So, what else do we have going on over here? Oh, we got some music! <laughs> Nancy's just gonna troll the other dude. How do you like this, pal? Mr. Smarty Pants. Oops. Why is it all staticky? Ah, uh, I think Nancy broke the radio. It wasn't me. That tornado you just saw. What do you think? What do you mean? Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I can't wait to see another one. Now that's what I like to see. Wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Before they defunded my department, I got the best of the best. Students who really cared, like Debbie. But those days are over. That must really be disappointing. <sighs> what are you, like, 18? Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. Because I'm getting close to pounding you in the face. <laughs> Nancy's going to get physical here. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually just going to take a screenshot of this. Because it's Oklahoma, and I think I like it. So there we go. Cool. Look at that. 2,000... No, 201 miles per hour for the high end. That's fast. Alright, so uh, what exactly am I supposed to be doing here anyways? Uh... Because I tried to leave once already, and he brought me back in. Where is this map that he wanted me to do for the town? That's what I want to know. Uh, I guess we should just get out of here. Maybe it's on the wall over here somewhere? Hello? Oh, we have another human being. Nancy, hi! You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. Do you know why Scott is in such a bad mood? I've worked with him for the past five years, and believe it or not, that's his normal mood. When he's in a bad mood, yikes. Sounds like you've been having a lot of equipment problems. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, first thing every morning, I'll brief you on what has to be done that day. As for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room, and that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Ma and Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Fix the sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. <laughs> okay. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. 
You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on, and volunteered for the job. And soon became the sound and lighting director as well, which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. It sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I wonder if I can ask this. I'm just curious. I know I can go on the computer and look it up again. What goes in the disaster kit again? You don't remember? No, sorry. To tell you the truth, I have to look up a lot of things myself some days. Check the computer. That should help you out. Yeah, that's what I figured. I was hoping I didn't have that's to. That's it for now. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. Okay. So I noticed there's, like, something going on over here as well. So that's the filing cabinet. Which we did that already, right? So th what is this stuff on the ground here? I don't know. Can't seem to look in the garbage can, so... Well, let's, uh, well, we could go fix a sprinkler, or we could, uh, what could we do? We could do, where's that chart? Maybe we'll do the siren chart. Is it over here? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we basically got to plaster these things everywhere. Um, sure. Put big ones and little ones, something like that. Oh, holy cow. The little red ones probably go close together. And these little white ones, maybe. Uh, sure, why not? I assume we just want basic coverage. Oh, wow, look at that, it overlaps nicely too. Which probably means we need a big one for here. That looks pretty good. And then yellow one. I love the color scheme here. So this is basically making sure we have enough sirens that covers the entire town. Huh. Cool. Let's go ahead and keep on plunking these down. Make sure that hole's there. I assume every peg needs one, so we'll go put that there. Big one goes right in the middle. Uh, I don't know if it really matters. I think that's a cupboard, isn't it? No. Oh. I guess there's some space over here, isn't there? Okay, so that one's not big enough. Now it's all covered. Alright, that's how it should look. Cool. Nancy's awesome. So let's go to the cellar, look up on the computer what we need in our disaster kit, and then we'll have a look and see what we have actually in it. Uh, let's see here. Emergency planning, disaster kit. So let's see here. Items from basic staples to household tools to first aid. Should include water, sugar, salt, granola bars. I should probably write this down. Oh, you know what? I'll just screen capture it. So I don't have to write it down. Aha! So it needs a bunch of stuff. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to uh, go shopping. Duct tape, I saw that there. Hey, who's this dude? I'll talk to you in a minute, buddy. Yeah, so I don't see much of anything in here. Okay, let's talk to this fella right here. Hello! Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Okay. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. 
A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing and the car was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized. Then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap. Then another, then another. Turns out, I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd... Punch the what of the who? <laughs> <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. I think you got lucky, dude. You lucky you didn't die. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some amatis clouds. And what happens? I dropped my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. How long have you worked for Scott? I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you're, you're got quite the ego. I've harassed you enough. See ya. See ya. And that also means we will be seeing you next time. So we're going to take a quick break. But we'll be back for more Nancy Drew very soon. Let me know what you think of the game so far. We'd love to hear your comments down below. Until next time, I'm your Gibbs.